welcome back to my channel. Uh, as you can see, I'm in a jumper today and I just finished work because it's absolutely freezing here. Going through a cold snap at the moment and the sun's going down really, really early so I haven't been able to film as much. I'm hoping to get a ring light within the next few weeks uh, just so I can film after I get home from work without it affecting the quality of my videos because right now I'm probably a bit blurred out because I've got the camera light intake turned up really high so I can actually film this for you otherwise it'd be pretty dull um so this is going to be quite a long uh makeup haul because I've brought a fair bit <laughs> um so yeah go get a snack and a drink okay I'm gonna start off with my favorite thing or oh, probably is my favorite thing yeah and it's what I'm wearing on my lips right now it is I searched for this everywhere literally everywhere like I went to every stop shop and couldn't find it anywhere and it is the Ramel Kate range in shade 107 and it is just stunning it's a matte um, dark red but it's not drying on your lips maybe I wore it last night it's a bit drying maybe after three hours it's a like it sort of gets a bit patchy on your lips but as long as you take some balm with you and apply that and this not often but you know just like when you think about it then it's gonna be fine next I brought another Revlon photo ready uh, brighter and primer and I've already gone through one of these so I just needed a new one because I absolutely love it it's probably one of my favorite products for underneath my eyes for brightening brightening up that area so I got one of them and I also got models prefer uh, brush cleaner I've never tried a brush cleaner I usually just use soap so I just thought I'd try one and I got this from Priceline. Next I got one of the new uh, Maybelline Master Smoky Eye pens with like a smudger. So one ends the pencil and one ends like a smudger that you smudge it in with. And it's supposed to be a smoky eye in two steps. I don't know who does a smoky eye with just one colour. But I thought I'd give it a shot. See how it goes. And I got two of the Maybelline Colour Sensations. And I got number 645 and 215 totally toffee and 645 red revival I've been loving reds lately I think I actually own a color very similar to this in NYX but you can never have too many reds right and it's just gorgeous and then the totally toffee one is just like a nude sort of like a brown nude and it's just really pretty so yeah I haven't tried either of those two on yet but I'm sure I'll feature them in a video at some stage. And I also got another Rimmel Kate lipstick. And this one is in number 32. And it's just really pretty. It's a... Uh, I don't even know how to describe this. Like a muted peach colour. I don't even know. But it's just really pretty. And then I got one of these to try out. This is the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable in the colour 5 crush. And it's just like a deep purple Color. I'll swatch this one because I haven't even swatched it and I'm excited. Ooh. So it's nice and creamy and it's just really, it's really awkward. And it's just um, a nice plum color. So that looks really pretty. It's going to be perfect for this cold weather. Also, I got a new bottle of the Simple Kind to Eyes makeup remover. And I got a sample of this in the Bella box and I loved it so much that I picked up the full size one. I got a Models Prefer Infinite Colour Foundation. Well, it's supposed to be 12 hour all day wear. I haven't tried it yet. If you'd like to see a review, just let me know. I think this retails for about $16 from Priceline. So it's really um, affordable. This haul has got a lot of lipsticks in. I think this is like my fifth lipstick. Anyway, um, this is in, what is this, the Colour Whisper? Who makes these? another Maybelline. So this is a Maybelline Colour Whisper and I got this one in the shade 25 Lust for Blush and it's just a really pretty matte um, like rose colour. I wouldn't say they're overly pigmented but they're really creamy and smooth. A bit like a, like a, I don't even know how to describe it. They're like really moisturising so feels really nice on my hand. And I got a Max Factor eyeshadow, single eyeshadow in Brazen Charcoal. And I picked this up because it was on sale from $12 to $9. And it is like, wait till you see the swatches. It's like, ah, 
silver, like metallic silver. And it does have glitter in, but only, they're like pretty small, like they're not big chunks of glitter. And it's just like so smooth and really pigmented. Can you imagine this on a wet brush? It would be just like good. I've also got an Australis Go Camo Full On Coverage Concealer. I've never tried anything from Australis, so it'll be interesting to see how the these next few items go because I have a few more. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see how these go. Never tried Australis. I've seen these in a few reviews. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we go with that one. Alright, and last two things from Australis. I picked up one of their foundations just to try and this is in the Paparazzi Perfect High Definition Foundation. I got the shade Nude, so hopefully that suits my skin fairly well. I didn't really have testers, I just picked up the lightest bottle because that's usually the one I am. It doesn't really feel heavy. It feels like there's nothing in here. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Next is the Australis Press Powder. And it comes with a crappy little pad that I'm just going to throw out. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, now when I went to Priceline I spent over $60 on specific brands just to get this free bag um, of goodies. They say it's valued over $220. So I'm just going to show you what I got off them. I'm not going to go into too much detail. I didn't really pick these, I just got them in the free bag. But there's like lots of stuff so I thought I'd include it in this video. Uh, one of the things I got was the Revlon All Natural, oh no, Beyond Natural lashes and it's freezing right now the wind just come in okay um so the revlon beyond natural uh, eyelashes i tried these last night hate them i thought they were crap um don't recommend and then i got a glam eyes manicure uh eyelashes and i i've had this um brand before and i really like them but these ones have got diamantes on the band which which i don't know i don't really wear um the Montes on my eyelashes every day so these would be more of like a Halloween costume maybe if the Montes is not is your thing I'm sorry it's just not my thing so yeah if you'd love to rock the Montes on your eyelashes go for it all the power to you to see what else I've got in this bag because it come in like it literally came in a handbag this one's in my face it literally came in a handbag so I'm just gonna pull all the stuff out of the handbag that I got oh it came with a little mirror. I don't know if you want to see it, but it's pretty cute. I actually like the mirror. It's like nice and heavy and sturdy. It's just like a mirror. There you go. They gave you like four little sample sizes of the BB cream, the Maybelline BB cream. And then I really like these. Actually, I would like to try them. Uh, the Medicare Moisturizing Nail Polish Remover Pads because they gave you a fair few um, nail polishes in this pack. So it's good that they gave you removers so you can try them all. And then I got, uh, I think you pronounce it fingers. It's like fingers, but without the E. So like fingers. I don't know, Edge Ombre, and this is like the purple pack, it comes with five different colours so you can make your nails have that ombre effect, I think it comes with a little sponge so you can like do the sponge applications, but I'm not really that fancy, so yeah, and then I got uh, Models Prefer in black, uh, just an eyeliner pencil, this comes in handy I guess, just remember this is all the stuff I got for free from the Priceline bag special, whatever you want to call it. Um, I got the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. This is in medium deep. Now, this is not going to suit my skin whatsoever, so I'm thinking I might chuck this in a giveaway. I'm not sure what I'm going to do my giveaway, but it'll probably be when I get a few more subscribers, maybe say 500 subscribers. So if you'd like my giveaway to, you know, happen tomorrow, get all your friends to subscribe to me. No, <laughs> but really. <laughs> Next I got a Savvy Liquid Eyeliner. I've never tried anything from Savvy. I honestly didn't even know they were brand in Priceline, but apparently they are. Savvy by DB. So is it like designer brands? Maybe designer brands changed to Savvy. I have no idea. But yeah, Savvy. And then I got a Physician's Formula um, Concealer Twins. So there's a yellow one and a light one just for correcting and concealing. And then I got a Nude by Nature Soft Focus Illuminator. I haven't tried this yet. I'm still deciding. I'm not. I'm more of a matte person than a shimmer person. So I'm still deciding whether I should try it and see if I like it or give it or chuck it in my giveaway. My future giveaway. And then I got the Rimmel Match Perfect. Um, Match Perfection, sorry. SPF 18 Foundation. And this is again way too dark for me. It's in True Nude. So it's probably for someone with a uh, medium skin tone. And then I also got these 3D nail wraps. 
I have a few of these nail wraps in my bathroom to try out. I have tried them before, I really like them. But I'm not too fussed on this particular pattern, so we'll see how I go. And then, one thing that I was really happy to receive, and I'll definitely be using this, is the Sally Hansen nail polish, and look at the colour. It's just so perfect and pretty. So, yeah, I'll probably be rocking that one in the next few days. And then I also got a Models Prefer Moisture Last Glossy Lip Tint. I haven't tried this one, it's still in its packaging. Um, and then, another thing that I absolutely loved getting was a Revlon... A Revlon Color Burst um, lipstick, and this one is in the color 25 Peach, and it's got some shimmer to it. I don't usually like shimmer, so you can see my the last two there, and then this one. I don't know why they call it Color Burst. It's not really bursting with color. It's more of like a colored gloss. That's the Revlon Balm stain. That one was my Color Whisper. And then this one is a Revlon Color Burst, which is quite sticky. Very sticky. And that's everything. It also came with like a little travel makeup case, but I'm not going to use that. can probably just chuck all the giveaway stuff in it and send it off to somebody. The lucky winner. And that's everything for my makeup haul. <sighs> There's a fair bit there to go. Anyway, lovely people, if you'd like to see a review on any of the products that I bought in the last week and a bit, uh, let me know in the comments below because I'd love to do reviews on some of these products for you. A lot of the brands I've never tried, so even if you don't ask for a review, I'm probably going to give it to you anyway. <laughs> uh, just to let you know what I think and my thoughts on the products. So I hope you guys are having a beautiful day wherever you are around the world. And I'll... I won't see you. But hopefully I get to talk to you because I love reading all your comments and I always respond to all of them. If you're not already, please follow me on Instagram and I recently created a Facebook so make sure you hit me up over there as well. I do have a Twitter. I don't use it as much but if you like you can follow me. You won't get as many updates though. And yeah, make sure you thumbs up and subscribe and I love you a long time. Bye.